Testing, testing, one, two. All right, so we're gonna sync video and audio. Um, I do not have a webcam on. My face is ugly. You don't need to see it. All right, so here I'm gonna show you quick ways. All this audio needs to be synced up, all these video clips actually. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna do it. You better watch and figure out what I'm doing. I'll try to tell you. All right. There's a part in the song that I'm listening for. I chose a part in the song. Choosing a part in the song, it's going to be about... Right here, there's a snare drum fill right here. And look at the wave. You look at the wave, see it right here? So, put it right to the front of that snare hit. I'm just going to cut my wave down. This one has the same, same snare hits. I can see them already, they're right here. See the wave, I'm looking at the wave right here. So I'm looking for that drum fill, right? Over here, I know where it is approximately in the song, right about here. I just know from where it's at, that's it right there. Okay. All these are not the same size. But anyway, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna start pulling these up above each other. Pull these down. Put this one down. Bring it lower. Can bring that in a little bit. Bring it over. So I'm just gonna layer a couple of them. Here's another one. The snare hits are right here. You could find any part in the song. You can find you know, look at the wave and look for something very easy to spot like that, but I'm just going for this, these snare hits. It's just where I chose from the beginning. So, and I, I'm not getting them exactly. I'm just putting them basically in the spot. So I'm going to take all this, shift it all over more. I got to bring this, um, whoops, bring this one up and bring this one down. Just keep putting them here. Here's the next one. I'm not going to speed this up. You're just going to bear with me or skip the video yourself. But here's another one. I see the, the hits right here. Okay. Um, I'm going to do another one. Um, I saw it should be right about here-ish. Alright, that one I'm going to put on top of this one. I'm starting another group here. Try and do this as fast as possible. I see the hits right there. I start, the, the wave starts looking familiar, the spot. It's not exact, I'm just getting a rough estimate of that one spot. And all these clips, you're going to see in the end what happens. You'll see in the end and you'll appreciate it. All right, where's the spot? I lost the spot. I think it should be right about here-ish. Right there, ready, and right on time. Same drum fill. We can even start a new little, there we go. It should be right back here. Back here it is. Right there, exactly where I landed. Watch. I mean, I do this like second nature. I'm gonna shrink these in. Pull this up. Next one. Oh, look at that. I'm right in the spot, pretty much. Close enough. Okay. So, see, I'm using more of my eyes than my ears at this point to get the, uh, the synced up spot right here again. Okay. You're starting to get familiar with that, that drum beat right there, that little drum pattern. That little fill. Found it again. Right there. Put this on top of this one. Bring these in. Grab this one. Drum fill is right here. Okay. Next one is right too far. It's back here. Right there. 
All right, we're almost at the end. See how fast we're doing this. Got like one, one more, because the last one doesn't count. Where is that spot? It's right here. Ooh, what is wrong with this? What did I just do there? What have I done? Alright, well, I guess I just, I lost part of this. There we go. Right here. Okay, and I think, I don't think any of these have multiple takes, so we should be good. Ready? Now what I'm going to do is, this is a different, it's a different scene right here. That's just an extra part. So, I'm going to come here, and now I'm going to zoom in fully. And you could look at that spot, or you could look at this spot, see how it's like close, but it's not exactly on. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to first match these up as close as I can, visually, which looks about there-ish. It looks about as close as it's going to get. If I go check out the, the section, see all these lines, these waves are lined up. Next, I'll bring these over. Um, I'm going to sync up these right here. They're only together, so there's not much. I'm going to open this, expand this so I can see it a little better. These are a little off. I believe it should be about right there. We're getting all this distortion because of all the audio, but... Let's check this really quick. Bring this up. Bring these down. Whoops, I only got one. Should have got both. It's hard to do so many layers in uh, Premiere. So I gotta expand this big. You know, shrink these down so I can work with them a little bit. And I'm gonna take these audio clips and bring them down, bring them over to match up here, ignore this phone call, sorry, busy, bring these over, so I'm going to check these waves, i got to open these up so I can see the waves, and they all look like they're lined up actually, they just all fell into place there, okay, so... Um, only a little more to go here. I'm going to take these, pull them up even more, even higher, pull these down way lower, bring these over, and then i got to expand these a little bit, and zoom in and see they're almost on. This one's off a little bit. Oh, I'm adjusting my volume. Let me shift that over just two clicks cut that down all these are synced up it's getting crazy now all right so what do we have left we've got these which we can stick over here we'll come take a look at these and see if they lined up no, they did not, but we're just going to tweak them. That one goes there, this one goes there, this one goes... This one's not up... Per there it is. This one... This one comes over to... This one comes over to here. And there they all are. Synced up. We're just going to trim them down so they all start the same spot. Alright, so now we got this bulk and the other bulk. Alright, so... We're getting, we're getting crazy now, but we're going to take all this and let's see if we can shrink things down and bring these way down, down to about there, and then pull these video clips up, way up to about there, and pull these over, right there, and we got everything looking crazy, but we're going to have to open up all these audio channels right here and then we'll take a nice close look at all this craziness they're not in sync but the ones I just pulled in are so if I just shift them right there 
now everything is in sync everything is in perfect sync and there's going to be crazy distortion or phasing or something if i were to play all these at once yes crazy distortion but we're not keeping all that we're going just a step further here we're going to take all this and raise it up here raise this down we're going to find that spot right here on our main song our main spot which is going to be back here because I could see it I'm very familiar with what this section looks like now I'm right off by one click or maybe two just gonna see there it is okay it looks to me like everything is dead lined up for the most part if I were to come over right here that's a little behind the beat that's a little in front of the beat I think it was closer here I'm slightly out of time with the main track could be due to a um, some kind of um, sample rate but anyway these are all lined up so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to drag out all this to the full clips so I should have the full clips hopefully maybe some of them probably didn't become full clips well, let's do them one at a time really quick to drag them all out because some start in other spots than others this one starts right here unless I did something wrong no there's that snare hit okay never mind should be good we should be in business unless I accidentally move something but should be in business this is going to work it always works there's never any problems editing everything just works okay so now I'm gonna take all this audio here I'm gonna hold all and take all this and I'm just gonna trash it all and I'm gonna come down here and hold alt and I'm gonna trash all that then I'm gonna right click over here and click delete tracks whoops I don't know what I just did there delete tracks and I'm going to do click delete video tracks delete audio tracks all empty tracks click OK all my audio tracks got got taken away and now I'm just now I just have all this video all right so the videos on uh, hold on a second I'm gonna bring back some of that audio if possible yes because some of these have some extended parts let's bring this over some of these have additional takes which i just realized now these two that are extended so let me find those really quick those are a little off now something's a little off what i'll need to do is i'll just chop these right here and then i'll go ahead and delete all that stuff that I had deleted previously let me raise this back up so you can see all the audio tracks I'll delete all this don't want to delete the video clips though so I'm holding alt to delete only this stuff then I'll take these two tracks and bring them up treat them as if they were individuals and I'll look for that spot again let me break them apart first break them apart real quick find that spot maybe stretch it out I'm gonna right click delete the audio tracks that are empty so we can shrink that down all right so where's that part that part that I kept syncing up seems to be about ish let me see let me hear the song hmm all right, I got multiple takes here. Okay, so I bring this back to about here-ish. That's the spot with the drum. I didn't realize I had combined a few takes here. So next will have to be this one. This one will be where are we at. 
Back it up. Here it is, coming up right here. Here it is. All right, take that, pull it in with this guy. Sync them up first. Open this a little bigger. Right about there, they're synced together. I'm gonna take these two and bring these way up to the top, way up to the top, way up to the top. I gotta grab the bottom one right there. And I'm gonna bring this back over and find that spot where the drum is, which is right here. Line them up right here. Right here is about correct. Then I will drag out these. So we have 21 video tracks. I'm going to delete these now. And we can right click, delete the audio tracks that are not being used. This is a little extra snippet I'm going to use later. This can come down, audio. Oops. All right, so here's what I was going to show for the grand finale. Not sure how long we've been recording now. Let's see how long we've been recording. Where did it say? Where did 16 minutes? All right. Well, let's not make this much longer. It's already been way too long. And so. What I'm going to do is, if I were to play here, now this was shot with the song playing double speed, twice as fast, 200%, so that when I slowed everything down to 50%, um, it, it synced up right in time and everything looks slow motion so that's a different little effect i was going for but if i were to take off this top visible track here the one under it is right in time and if i were to take off that one the one under it is right in time if i were to take off that one right in time. If I take off the one there underneath it, if I take off this one, that one's blurry. That was one of the earlier shots before the camera was in focus. If I take that layer away, If I take off the next layer, if I take off, that's blurry too, take off the, na the next one. If I take off the next one, all because that snare hit. And is there anything else? Oh, look, we got tons more. If I take off the next one. If I take off the next one. If I were to take off the next one. How satisfying is this? It's so satisfying it makes you want to save it so you don't lose your progress. If I take off the next layer. If I take off the next layer. If I take off the next layer. Take off the next layer. Take off the next layer. Wish I had a penny for every time I said that.
take off the next layer take off the next layer and I think that's it is that the last layer that no there's one layer underneath it clicking on the layers the computer's lagging a little but I have it playing back full speed so now it's a matter of going through and finding all the best shots piecing them all together but they're all layered in perfect time it's just a matter of process of elimination now It's just extra junk footage. I had to pretend that I was shooting the, the band just so I can get my shots that I needed in the crowd. And I'm holding the tripod out myself. People are looking at me like, what's this guy doing? And I'm like, I'm going to make some money on YouTube is what I'm doing. So leave me alone. So keep on the layers. So that's it for syncing up. I did it by looking at, I found drums. Obviously, if you watched any of this, you saw what I did. I linked up snare drums. You could do it with anything. Look in your wave for something that stands out. You know, the same idea as when they would do the clicker in movies. They would make, or they would clap, or whatever they do. I just look for the wave, expand these waves, and sync them up. Look for something very noticeable. Zoom in. Look for a little pattern that you can sync up, and do it by eye. Or you could run a program like Plural Eyes, which um, is not running, is not working here. Plural. This is what a program like this will do, except for, for whatever reason, I attempted to do it with this video and it just didn't work. But if you get a program like this, you drop all your files and your audio clips in here and it does its best to sync it up and export you. It gives you a timeline that you can literally import into Premiere and everything will be kind of like this, synced up in a way. Um, and it usually works good. In this case, for some reason, it didn't work. Uh, I'm not exactly sure why, maybe because I had the same audio track on every channel. It just didn't know what to do. But anyway, I manually did it. And that's all for this lesson because I'm not going to go on and on. We'll, when we do more editing, I'll just make it a different topic. So hope you learned something. And I'm sure I missed some really good information I could have given you. But I just gave you enough to probably be able to do anything you need to do when it comes to syncing up syncing up audio with with um, well I did it in a way where I was syncing up identical audio parts but should be the same thing if you had multiple cameras recording the same thing and they were picking up the same audio the waves gonna look a little different it's not gonna look identical but you should be able to be able to pinpoint certain parts match them up find something in the beginning or the middle or the end or somewhere that you know in this in the in your recording and your audio where this is a, an identifiable sound or part that you can easily get to sync it all up from there and then extend your your clips back out don't necessarily try to sync everything up from the beginning that's not the way to do it all right and I think I'm done have a, have a Merry Christmas even though it's not Christmas for several months goodbye